Welcome to the topic series. Today we're talking about tactical products made by Paulson Manufacturing and specifically accessories for the Model 510 goggle. One of our popular accessories are cover lenses. These cover lenses come in three colors, clear, yellow, and a gray color. And there's five of these cover lenses in the pack. So let's say that you take a, a buy a pack of the uh, cover lenses and you now you want to attach it. These white strips are covering up an adhesive. So pull off the white strips and expose that adhesive. Now you need to center this cover lens over the goggle and press it into place. It's actually quite easy. I just center it right over the nose. While holding at the nose so it's in position, I press down on the one side and then I pull it over just slightly and press down on the other. We've provided a convenient tab for when you pull this off for removal. As you can see, this lens appears to be now a gray colored lens. This also helps with identification issues if you don't want to have somebody be able to see your eyes and face. For removal, grab the tab, pull this off, and you're ready to go back again for your clear vision. So you could have the gray lens on during the day. You could then as it falls to evening, just simply pull that off. Same situation with the clear and with the yellow color. Again, the clear, if it's on there, if you had any type of heavy scratching or so forth that might occur in your application, that cover lens would protect this base lens, greatly ex uh, extending the lifetime of the goggle. As an addition to this, we want to talk about a replacement goggle lens. This is the replacement goggle lens for the 510T. It, it has a uh, anti-fog film cover. It says remove this anti-fog film cover before use. So by just pulling off this film of plastic, you're now exposing the anti-fog surface inside. To remove the lens, you have to start with the goggle and a ballpoint pen. Push the ballpoint pen into this small hole that's on the underside of the pivot, pushing up this pin, and pull the pin out. Repeat on the other side. Now that I've removed the two pins, and as I pull this clip out here, you'll notice that this clip came out and there's a small keeper that also came out with it. Lay that on the table in front of you. Two keepers and my strap. By keeping my strap oriented the same way that it is that I took off the goggle, I won't have an uh, opportunity to get this upside down. Now that the strap is completely off of the goggle, I grasp the bezel on the sides and bring this lower like this, and then I tip it in this kind of a motion to remove this bezel off the bottom of the goggle. On the top, I bring the two sides out and then I tip it to remove it off of the goggle. I unwrap the silicone frame off of the goggle, off the goggle lens, and there is now the lens separate from the frame. I take the new lens and I insert it into the frame wrapping the silicone frame around the goggle lens all the way around and you'll notice that there's two small tabs top and bottom that will fit conveniently into small slots that are in the silicone frame. The silicone is very flexible and you can pull and squish it into shape. There won't be any issues with that. come around here to the nose and we have two additional small tabs that the silicone frame has to fit over. Now this lens is fully inserted inside of the silicone frame and we need to replace the bezel. Again the bezel has these two small slots that correspond to these two studs both on the lower bezel and on the upper bezel and the upper bezel 
has two small buttons on the inside that correspond to the two small holes that you can see here on the top of the bezel frame. So starting at the top, I'm going to tip this on and push it over, which you'll, you can hear it kind of moving into place and wrapping around there. On the inside, turning the goggle to the interior, remember I said there was two buttonholes? You can button those right through the frame very easily with your finger just by rolling it around the inside. Those are buttoned into place. I take this lower frame, I push it into the center, I wrap it up around on the sides of the goggle, and then using my two thumbs, I'm going to push the goggle frame up into place, and that's snapped into place here. Now on the two sides of the goggle frame, remember we had those small keepers that we pushed to the side. The small keeper drops in with the box section to the bottom on the two sides. That locks the bezel frame together. And you may remember I said place your goggle strap down in the same position that you'll be returning it. That way you don't have to worry if you have it reversed inside out or backwards. So now the goggle uh, strap attachment drops into this slot and we put the pin back in through the top. As that pin drops back into place, make sure I get all these parts aligned up. There you go, that drops in. We go to the other side. Again, we didn't twist the strap. We didn't uh, move it out of its uh, original position. So now it automatically will come into just the right location. And we have now reassembled the goggle with a brand new lens. Another accessory for the 510 series of goggles is the goggle sock. There is no top and bottom to this sock, but it does have a large opening on this side and a small opening on this side. To install it, feed the large opening through the strap and pull the strap through. Reassemble your strap on the back side. Now this goggle sock is meant to be worn on the edge of your strap, whether it's on your head or if it's on the helmet. Then if you want to cover the goggle, you just feed this goggle sock through and over the front of the goggle. It's an elastic stretch material, so it doesn't mind being tugged and pulled and stretched in all different ways to get it to cover the goggle. Now as the goggle sock is over the goggle, it reduces the reflectivity off the front of the goggle. It also keeps the goggle clean when you're in dirty conditions.